Bernard. Oh, Nadi. Come here. The Grammy need a favor from you. I need you to deliver an important message for me. But I don't link you up the full story yet. See, I married your granddaddy more than 60 years ago. Back then, we did the dance floor together. He grabbed me right by my waist and put me right up against his body and we would move. We were two groupers swimming in an ocean we had all to ourselves. We were always in tune. Even when I'd fiddle the hallway with the sound of his name, Ruben, come get your breakfast. Or when he'd take too long and his food was getting cold, Ruben, Ruben. You know, he'd always fire back, oh, shut up, Maud. I'm coming. You see, that takes time, young fella. You grew up in these four walls, but you don't know. Every bit of concrete this house was built on contains one of our lives. Or a piece of the happy we squeeze into these walls every time we brought home a new bundle of life. And boy, did we bring home new life often. Call us a pair of bees because we couldn't keep our stingers off of one another. I mean, how well do you think you ended up with 11 aunts and uncles, huh? That's nine months, 12 times that man waited on me. Whenever I'd pour myself out for everyone else, He's al he'd always wait for me to pull myself back together, patiently, without question. You know, I think that man was born whole, but for all these times, I have been the piece that completes him. Now, you know, I will always love my Lord and Savior, but when Jesus came to me while I was laying on that cold x-ray table, and he put his warm hand on my chest, I just, I wasn't ready. I told him to hold on one second because I know your granddaddy was out in the visitor's room waiting on me as he's always done, but we all know the Lord don't wait on no one, so I just hollered, Reuben! Lord, don't take me from my Reuben! With my own two hands, I honeyed my love and my whispers into the faces of my grandchildren, but now I am gone, and my lips can't form the words anymore, so naughty. The next time you go to that house, and you see that man sitting up in his chair, back strong, as the day I first met him. You hold his hand. You kiss him right on the forehead. And then you look him right in his eyes, because then he'd know that I am right here for as long as it takes. Waiting. <laughs>